And then uh, the Mayhem six-person WCW Championship match, Sting retained his championship. And then in the Mayhem 30-man battle royal, winner facing uh, WCW Champion, which is now Sting, at Starcade was won by Booker T. So that is our main event now for Starcade. 60 rating there, a little disappointing. Uh, we're in front of about 5,600 people today in Knoxville, so let's get to it. We opened the show with Shane Douglas and Bam Bam Bigelow, the new WCW Tag Team Champions. <clears throat> and they cut a promo talking about how they have finally gotten gold here in WCW, that they finally took out those two young guns in AJ Styles and Mark Jindrak, that they are the very well-deserving champions, that they should have been champions from the beginning, but they kept hitting hurdle after hurdle, and now no one in WCW can hold them back from championship gold. 57 rating there. We are going to change Shane Douglas's gimmick. Great. Awesome. Good job, Shane. All right. 57 rating there. However, we do get interrupted by AJ Styles and Mark Jindrak, who come out and say, well, I hate to burst your bubble, and I know you guys feel how great that you beat us last night, but we did talk to Bischoff, and we do have a rematch clause in our contract, and we're not wasting any time. Tonight, we are using our rematch clause in the main event for the WCW Tag Team Championships. So right off the bat, we're coming in hot off of Mayhem and into Starcade with the WCW Tag Team Championship match in the main event. 59 rating there. Jindrak and AJ are getting better on the mic, so that's good. Douglas's new gimmick is going well, so good opening to the show there. Okay, so in a decent matchup, Rob Van Dam defeats Mike Sanders in 551 with a five-star frog splash. Sanders a 46, just a jobber. RVD in 82. Lack of psychology, that's fine. 70 rating, good stuff out of a squash match. High rating there for a squash match. Anyway, uh, this is just to get RVD another win. Showcase him as the new WCW United States Champion. The crowd got hot from it. Good stuff, a good opening match for the show. Um, we come... Our post-match, we see a limo pulling up with Booker T arriving to the building, the winner of the Mayhem 30-man match, where he will now face Sting at Starcade for the WCW Championship. 73 rating, good stuff, Book. And in a decent matchup, Abyss in his first singles matchup um, does defeat Tommy Dreamer in 713 with a black hole slam. Abyss of 53, Dreamer of 47, 51 rating for overall. Um, good stuff here by Abyss. Dreamer, I'm sorry, man. You're at that point. I, I hate putting you in this little mid-card spot, but that's where you are right now. Abyss gets a much-needed singles victory, though. Remember at Mayhem, he was in a six-person match, and Lance Storm cost him um, his spot, and then Goldberg speared him to get the pin. And then in the Mayhem 30-man battle royal, Lance Storm uh, was instrumental in eliminating Abyss. So obviously there's more stuff coming there. Um, and then post-match, Abyss beats down Dreamer as Mitchell cuts a promo on Lance Storm that this is your fault. You're the reason that Abyss is doing this to Tommy Dreamer. Lance Storm, you're the one who has to explain to Tommy Dreamer's family why he can't provide anymore because of what you did last night. Next week or this week, whenever you decide to show up, you will pay for your actions last night. So this is my way of writing off Dreamer for a little bit. I'm um, going to try to regain his momentum when he comes back. This also makes Abyss just look like a star, which is what I've been doing since he's come up. And Mitchell gets a promo. So, 49 rating there. Uh, Double J, Jeff Jarrett cuts a promo backstage. Um, he's talking about how he feels he got screwed out of both the Mayhem six-person match as well as the 30-man match. Uh, he feels he's the rightful number one contender for the WCW Championship, and he's tired of being held back here in WCW. 65 rating. As he goes to continue, he gets interrupted by Big Sexy Kevin Nash. And Nash says, dude, why, why are you whining and complaining constantly about this? Look, you lost both matches. I lost too. It is what it is. So if, if, and then Jarrett kind of comes back at him. Nash fires back. Nash challenges him to a match tonight, and Double J accepts. So 66 rating there, and a big singles match here in Nitro. Like I said, Nitro's coming in with all the stops now. You know, almost going into Starcade. We're pulling out all the stops. 66 rating there, a little disappointing. Um, Scott Steiner makes his entrance as he comes down and sits at the commentary table uh, to watch this next match. 72 rating out of Steiner. 
In an extremely short match, Bill Goldberg defeats Sean Stasiak in 432 with a jackhammer. Goldberg in 80, Stasiak at 37. Goldberg, Goldberg came out looking great, 50 rating. Now remember Steiner's on commentary, and during the Mayhem match, um, Goldberg did eliminate Scott Steiner, who did return in the match, and Scott Steiner then showed up later in the match to help Goldberg get eliminated. So there's some animosity there. And post-match, Goldberg stares down Scott Steiner, who's sitting at the commentary table. Goldberg's begging Steiner to get in the ring and fight him. Steiner keeps doing, you know, the, the bait-and-switch moment and then just walks away. So that, that match is coming, though. Goldberg and Steiner, it's coming. 69 rating there. Backstage, the Militia cuts a backstage promo talking about how they need to stop worrying about all this other nonsense and start focusing on bringing gold to the Militia. Lil Guido says, tonight I will find a way to get that Cruiserweight Championship since Shane Douglas is, or Shane Helms is doing an open challenge. I will bring that Cruiserweight Championship back to Militia and Ray and Super Crazy. It is your job to get the tag team titles over to the Militia. 65 rating out of Mr. Guido and the Militia, of course. Shane Helms comes out, and it's a huge promotion, excuse me, <coughs> for his Cruiserweight Championship Open Challenge, like Little Guido just said, 60 rating. And about to have good wrestling, a decent reaction from the crowd. Shane Helms defeats Little Guido in 10-6 by pinfall with a quick cradle. Shane Helms makes defense number 6 of his WWE Cruiserweight Championship title run. Uh, Guido is 72, Shane Helms is 64. Um, crowd got hotter, 68 rating. I know that we've seen this match, and I'm sorry that this match happened again, but they were so good together. Um, I wanted to do it one more time and help build towards a Starcade match that I had in mind. So, And post-match, the Militia beat down Helms in a 3-on-1 assault um, until the referees come out and stop the beating. 63 rating there. So obviously the Militia are now pulling their attention back to Shane Helms, who Shane Helms thought he was done with. Um, with Guido and them, but I guess not. I guess the battle is back on after a few months away. 63 rating there. Uh, we get a segment uh, with Sean O'Hare and Scott Taylor um, starting to show more uh, friendship, I guess. Um, and they are going to be a team going forward, but it shows them uh, out on the town with the fans that Sean O'Hare is starting to give in to Scott Taylor's kind of funny side, and Sean O'Hare is starting to show a little bit more personality. Uh, they're going to be kind of that like weird oddball pairing, so something good there. 42 rating, not the greatest, but we'll get there. Oh my god, why is Don Marie so horrible? Okay. Uh, Buff Bagwell cuts a promo introducing his new girlfriend Don Marie, who are now going, who are self-proclaimed the power couple of WCW, and that they are going to take out Billy Kidman and Tori Wilson and wipe them from the roster. Um, and anybody who gets in their way will feel the same wrath. So I guess Buff Bagwell has a new girlfriend. That's not Tori Wilson. And in a decent match, Buff Bagwell defeats Rick Steiner in 7:35 with a with a Buff blockbuster. Buff Bagwell 53, Rick Steiner 54, Buff and Domery are a good pairing, so that's awesome. 56 rating there. Buff Bagwell's going to get a little love here. This is good. From Domery, apparently, and from us, so that's that's good stuff here. Good, good, good. Booker T comes down to the ring and cuts a promo on Sting, saying that, you know, Sting, I hope you understand what's going to happen at Starcade, and it's nothing personal, man, but... You know, I took Ric Flair out of his misery, and now it's your turn to be taken out of your misery. This is my time here in WCW, not yours. Your time is over. And just like I told Rick, and he didn't want to believe me, hopefully you don't make the same mistake. But that WCW championship will be coming to me at Starcade. 70 rating there as he gets interrupted by Sting in the rafters, of course. And says, Booker, be careful what you wish for. Um... You know, you won your mayhem match, and you know what I bring to the table, and I know what you bring to the table. Let's not kid ourselves here. I know what you did to Rick, and that's whatever it is what it is. But I'm not Ric Flair. I'm Sting. I'm the WCW Heavyweight Champion, and you are not going to take this belt from me. 70 rating there. Good stuff, both guys. Good hype for the main event for Starcade. All right. And about that fantastic heat in good wrestling... Kevin Nash defeats Jeff Jarrett in 752 when Jeff Jarrett intentionally gets disqualified uh, by two guys attacking Kevin Nash. Uh, Jarrett is 68, Nash is 69. Jarrett and Nash have great chemistry, which is awesome. 70 rating. Um, masked Man 2, awesome. So we have two Masked Men who are beating down um, Kevin Nash here. 
Um, post match, oh, I can't believe this is such a good match. Awesome. Um, Jeff Jarrett squeaks out of the ring though, so he doesn't get a beat down at all. As the two masked men are beating down Kevin Nash um, until they hop the barricade, they make eye contact with Jarrett and then jump over the barricade and leave through the crowd. Who are these two masked men? Um, and are they with Jarrett? Why did they attack Kevin Nash? Are they with someone else? Who knows? Um, so we'll see what's going on there. But um, this is going to be something that we a uh, storyline that we potentially build to. Um, Nash and Jarrett having great chemistry definitely helps that situation. 62 rating there for the post-match segment. Uh, backstage, we have Shane Douglas and Bam Bam Bigelow kind of playing their case to Bischoff, saying that it's unfair that they have to face the former tag team champions tonight. And Bischoff just kind of tells Shane Douglas straight up, like, stop your bitching. You're the champions. You have to defend your belts. That's how it is. Um, and Shane Douglas kind of is upset. Bam Bam Bigelow and Tim tries to intimidate Bischoff and doesn't work. Um, and they go out and get ready for their match. 59 rating there. And in our main event of the evening, and about to have good heat and decent wrestling, Shane Douglas and Bam Bam Bigelow defeat Pinpoint in 938 when Shane Douglas pins Mark Jr. with a handful of tights. Uh, Douglas and Bam Bam Bigelow retain for their first defense. 61 out of Jindrak, 66 out of AJ, 53 out of Bam Bam, 62 out of Shane. Uh, 62 rating there. A little disappointing on the rating, but solid main event either way for the WCW Tag Team Championships. Uh, Pinpoint does come up short, so we'll see kind of how that goes. Because they, they lost their shot at the rematch. So they're going to have to go right back to the end of the line. And Shane Douglas and Bam Bam Bigelow are all smiles as they go up the ramp. As they snuck out another victory from Pinpoint and retain the WCW Tag Team Champions. Again, low rating. Not great, but it is what it is. Um, let's see what we get for a rating for the show. I'm, I'm assuming, I'm going to guess a 70. Ooh. How did we get such a low? That 35 killed us. Yeah, dang. Okay, well, unfortunately, a little bit of a low low one here. I thought we had a good show, but I guess not. Um, but that is what it is. That's wrestling, right? That's how things kind of go. Um, but, you know, we lost popular in 13 regions. Is what it is. But we gained in five. So we're getting there. It's okay. Um... That's all I really got to say about this one. Hopefully you liked it. Hopefully, uh, um, you know, hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully you are enjoying the series. We're on our road to our biggest show of the year, um, which is Star K 2001. So hopefully you're looking forward to that. Um, but like I said, like, subscribe. We're going to keep this going, and we'll see you next time for the next WCW Monday Nitro.